It was like any other Wednesday night for this humble family. His wife, his little girl, Sparky the dog, they're all taking their weekly walk from the park to the pier. A young woman sits beneath the lamppost in this scarcely lit oasis in the city. She looks up from her tiny spiral sketchbook, never taking her pen off of her paper. Shooting over a friendly smile, the family nods. The dad says hello. They've grown accustomed to each other's presence. However, this kind family has no idea how much the young woman detests this wholesome and loving facade. Now, as she returned the greeting, she continued to draw, but not a portrait or a landscape or an abstract. Her pages were filled with portions of a bigger picture. Weeks went by, and the family's pattern had remained the same, as did the young woman's, until one deep, dark night, the woman was not to be found. They all looked at one another, a bit surprised, but nobody found the need to speak of it. As they walked on past the lamppost into the gloomiest and darkest spot in the park, Dad feels a sharp prick in his neck. He pulls out the source of his pain as some kind of tranquilizing dart. He falls to the nearby bench, conveniently. From behind the dense bushes, she grabs the child. As her father barely sits upright, paralyzed by the bizarre drug running through him, the girl screams. And before her breath had been exhausted, her throat had been opened. It was so fast, the only way we could tell what happened was by the pool of blood at her feet. Kick, stomp, yip, one dead dog. The mother rushed back towards her baby and ran gut first into the woman's cutting edge. Dad saw the whole thing happen but was frozen onto the bench. She teased him and then taunted him and then delivered the final hack to the heart that finished him off. Pulling out her camera, she whispers, Say cheese. She takes a Polaroid of the scene and then escapes off to her apartment where hundreds of sketches are assembled on her bedroom wall. Locating the photo from her purse, she holds it up to this sketchbook mosaic spotted by track lighting. She glances over to a photo of her father on the nightstand. I'm getting better, Daddy. Can't you see? This song's about a serial killer, and it's called Purple in the Shadows. Seems so crystal clear The pages of her sketch from front to rear She had predicted all the things That now were here There's an explanation Behind every miracle It may be hard to digest But they all suggest you Think about how much Your burden weighs Some kind of strange disconnection Between her thoughts and the actions she takes She takes her art so goddamn seriously It's a mosaic murder prophecy It's all drawn out the way it will be done tonight Should we be responsible for insanity? There may be a person or two or three inside you they tell each other about their days Walking so callously To the crime scene Like a zombie made out of puffer fish And now I'm coming up To the place where the vision came to life The child, the dog, the husband and the wife Assemble 